So I'm just going to read our mission and then our vision and our core values. Just so you know that these are the foundation. There are other documents, but these are really the foundation of our strategic planning. So University of Hawaii Maui College inspires students to develop knowledge and skills in pursuit of academic, career, and personal goals in a supportive educational environment that it emphasizes community engagement, lifelong learning, sustainable living, Native Hawaiian culture, and global understanding. And um, in one of our meetings, we actually looked at it and went, whoa, all our theme groups are represented or reflected in our, or our mission, they're reflected in our mission. Um, our vision, we will prepare students to respond to emerging challenges in their lives, communities, and the world through compassion, leadership, problem solving, and innovation. Our core values, and um, look forward to, we hope to have um, ITSI sessions on core values so that we start to understand more what each value looks like in operation. So we have aloha, kuleana, lokahi, malama, mana olana, and pono. Go look them up if you don't know what they mean. So as you remember, during the course of the fall, we had the opportunity to talk with most every group on campus. And we collected a bunch of feedback. And initially, we had thought at the end, we'd walk away with a sense of who we want to be in five years. So we thought we would be able to answer the question, um, how are we going to present ourselves to the community? So for example, and I'll use degrees we don't really have so to avoid offending anyone. Um, we thought maybe we'd say, oh, you know what? In five years, we want to be really strong in candle making, but not so much in soap making. So we're going to cut the soap making problem. And then we would be able to make budget decisions based on that. So we had this. We were hoping for that really firm vision. But what the campus feedback actually showed us is that we don't know exactly what programs we are going to have, but rather how we're going to be. And so the emphasis was really on student success. What does that mean? Um, it, what it means is that we are realizing that from all of your feedback, when we want to represent ourselves to the community, we want people to say, I want to go to Maui College because when I go there, I have a quality education, I have small classes, I have individual attention, and there are lots of resources that will help me succeed. And that seemed like a, a really great way to kind of move forward instead of being fixed on this fixated sense of who we're going to be. So today, um, throughout the day, we're going to ask you to put on your campus hat, try to step out of our silos and our particular areas and interests, and really get a sense from the bird's eye view of what, as a campus, do we really need. So we want to thank all these people. Our planning committee, is, they're really awesome. And our administrators and the Strategic Planning Council and our theme groups, Hawaii Papa Okeao, Student Success, Quality of Learning, Sustainability, and Community Needs and Workforce Development. And everybody who participated in campus meetings and all of, look at this room. This is like historic, you know, because we've never had something like this and we really appreciate your participation. So we decided we should just give a quick sense of um, how we got here and how we got to the list that we're going to be presented with today. So this is just a quick timeline of where we were and where we're going with this. So it started with, um, between August and October, individual programs and departments were working on program review and collecting budget requests from individuals and from different areas. And then in, um, so we had these different groups. And so all together, we have um, five. Um, then through no November and December, all the directors and DCs and PCs, they all got together and created a prioritized list for them. So you'll see that each of the circles represent which area, um, ha and you'll see those presentations in our budget information. Um, so during the month of January, the VCs presented these requests to the SPC group, and that allowed the strategic theme groups to think about these requests in the lens of their strategic theme area. So today, this campus planning day, is you're going to first hear presentations from each vice chancellor. 
Then you're going to hear presentations from the theme area so you can get a sense of how these priorities relate to our strategic plan. And then you'll have a chance to vote on them. So this is going to be the layout of the day. After today, the SPC, the Strategic Planning Council, is going to collect this information. It's merely a facilitation group. Going to collect the information and analyze it and come up with a campus list. This campus list through the month of April is going to be vetted through the campus through different groups, um, especially the Budget Committee, Academic Senate, and Chancellor's Executive Committee. We welcome other groups as well. Just let us know if you feel like we've missed an area. Um, and then May, the goal is to have our completed budget. So today, so today you'll see in your folder a list of budget information. We're going to begin with the vice chancellors. They're going to go through each of the budget information. Just to give you a quick orientation to the sheet, I know it's a really small print, so hopefully you have your reading glasses on. Um, oops. We have at the top all the abbreviations. So you'll notice that we have unit abbreviations in the rank column. So that'll show you, sorry, um, the unit abbreviation, so student affairs and so on. You know what, actually, the very first column, the one with the number, that's the number of the request. So that's going to be how we keep track of these requests. In the second column where it says unit rank, that's how the unit ranked it. And then finally, the theme rank is how the strategic theme groups ranked it. You're going to hear this as you go through the day. It'll make a little more sense, probably. And then we have the item and then more information about it. So we're going to hear the vice chancellors first, and then we're going to go to Ka'aike. During that time, you're going to hear the different sessions. The presenters are going to rotate, so you get to stay nice and cozy in the room that you're going to be in. How do you know what room you're going to go to? The color of your agenda sheet, which could be a nice thing to put in your contract renewal folder, is um, the color of your group. So then you will go to the corresponding room. And then in the very last session, which um, you'll see at the very bottom, that's, gonna, that's when we will distribute the voting sheets. This is what the voting sheets are going to look like. The voting sheets will have, again, the item number, the rank from the unit, the theme rank, and then the item. So it should look really familiar to the budget information sheet. And then what we're going to ask you to do is to pick five that you think are in the first priority and then five for the second rank priority, and then five for the third rank priority. Please don't vote for more than five in each area, in each priority. Um, we're going to have to be firm and discount your vote if you put like seven first priorities. It just messes up with the math, I've been told. Um, OK, so with that, we're going to start with our first vice chancellor, who isn't feeling so well, but he's here anyway. Thank you. Hey, aloha.